Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be showing you how to get the coloured body armour in GTA 5 online. So I hope you do find the video helpful or you enjoy. If you do, feel free to leave a like. Anyway, we'll get straight into the video. So first of all, we want to head over to a clothing store, and you want to go up to the front counter. Also, before we begin, make sure you put your money in the bank, so instead of having a lot of cash, just put it in the bank so it transfers over to your female character. Now, if you didn't know, the transfer glitch does delete all your saved outfits except for the one you equip. So equip the outfit you would like to keep, and then delete all your saved outfits yourself, just to make sure it goes smoothly. Now open up your pause menu, go down to online, and head down to swap character, or manage characters, if you are on new gen. In order for the glitch to work, your main character needs to be a male, and it needs to be in the left slot, or else it won't work for you. Now from here, make a new female character in the right slot. And if you get this alert, accept it. In this editing menu, make sure you set your character to a female, and then press save and continue. Name the character anything, and then you should load into a public session after you take the photo. If you guys are looking for some of the quickest and safest GTA Cash rank services and modded accounts for PlayStation, Xbox and PC, be sure to check out Damn Mods. You can also use my coupon code TJRH for a discount on your order. And as you can see, they have excellent reviews on Trustpilot and are trusted by thousands of customers. Now when you load in, open up your map to see if you have any clothing stores appearing on the map. If you don't, just find a new session and they should appear. I would recommend finding a new invite only session, just so no one else can mess up a glitch while you're doing it. Now when you load in, just head over to any clothing store, and then head down to the utility pants. You want to go for the black battle pants. From here go on tops, and then we need to head down to the work jackets and go for number 38, this should be the peach camo closed field. Once we have this, we then want to go down to tucked t-shirts, and go for number 75, which should be the blue digital t-shirt. Now that we have this equipped, we want to go to the accessories menu. So from here, make sure you remove any earrings that are currently on your outfit, so equip no earrings. And if you have any necklaces or other accessories, just remove them, and then head down to gloves. And on gloves, go for the light woodland armoured, and then save this in slot number 2, and you want to name this green one. Then once you have saved this to slot number 2, we also want to save it in slot number 4, and name this orange one. Then after we have saved it in slot number 4, we also want to save it in slot number 6, and name it purple one. Anyway, once we have all those outfits saved, we want to go to the pants section, and then head down to sports pants, and equip the spotted muscle pants, so these should be number 1. Once we have those, we want to go onto tops, and then head down to the fitted suit jackets, and equip the black boating blazer. Now once we have this equipped, we want to back out of this menu, open up your interaction menu, and then we want to head down to the health and ammo, body armour, and then show the super light armour. If you are on old gen, the body armour might still be under inventory. From here though, we want to go onto the shoe section, then head down to motorcycle boots, and equip number 23. Now we want to save this outfit underneath green 1, and name this green 2. Now back out of this menu, open up your interaction menu, head down to your body armour again, so either under health and ammo, or inventory, and then scroll 1 to the right, over to the light armour. Now head back onto motorcycle boots and equip number 22. After you have these, save this outfit underneath orange 1 and name it orange 2. From here just back out of this menu again, open up your interaction menu, go to your health and ammo, go onto body armour, and you want to scroll 1 to the right, over to the heavy armour. Once you have this, you just want to go back onto shoes. Now head down to motorcycle boots, and then go for number 21. Now that you have these, we want to save this underneath purple 1, and name it purple 2. So now we should have all the outfits made, and then from here what you want to do is open up your pause menu, go to online, and then head down to options, take the easy way out just to force the game to save. Now 
Now, this is the part where we need to do the transfer glitch, so open up your pause menu, go to online, head down to Rockstar Creator. Now, in this menu, head down to create a race, and then create a new land race. So, go on race details, and you want to fill this in, essentially, so the title, description, and photo don't matter, they can be anything. Now head down to maximum players and set this to 3, and then set the route type to point to point. And if you want to, you can choose any supercar or any car in the game that you want to use, just to test the race. From here though, warp to the airport. Now head down to placement, and then place the trigger anywhere. Take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now you want to place checkpoints until the race is at least 0.62 miles long. So when that red warning icon disappears, which is about 0.62 miles, I believe, once you have done this, just test the race. Now once you get this alert, just accept it and then open up your pause menu. Head over to online and you want to head down to choose character or manage characters. Now in this menu, just delete your female character. Now from here, if you are on old gen, just back out to story mode. However, on new gen, in order to go into story mode, you want to hover over the character on the right, and then you want to join someone from your friends list who is in a GTA Online session, who is in a different targeting mode to you. So for Xbox, there is a bot account that you can join, which I just showed you, and that will work. And there's also an account similar to this on PlayStation that you can just join. And when you join, just accept the alert and wait, and it should kick you straight to story mode. When you load into story mode, just start up a new online invite-only session. Now you should load in with the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning, so from here go ahead and save this at the bottom, so to slot number 20. You should also notice all the outfits we made on the female character have transferred over, so from here go on to Deadline Outfits. And for the first one we want to equip the Deadline Green Outfit. And then we need to open up our pause menu, go to Online, head down to Jobs, Play Job. Go on to Bookmarked, head down to Missions, and you'll need to start up It's a G thing, so you will need this bookmarked if you don't have it. I'll leave a link to it in the pinned comment. So if you don't have it, just bookmark it, then restart your game, and it should appear. In this menu here, just set the clothing to player saved outfits, and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu here, just scroll over to the green two outfit, so that'll be two to the right. And then from here, you can ready up. When you load in, you want to go to one of your apartments, and then go to the wardrobe inside of it. Now in here, go ahead and save your outfit, so just save it out the way of the others. Just save it at the bottom, so slot number 19. After you have saved it, just delete green one and green two, then quit the job using your phone. Now when you load in, you should be able to equip that same outfit we just saved using your interaction menu, and you'll notice it is fully saved. Now for the next outfit, head down to Deadline Outfits again, and this time you want to go for the orange Deadline Outfit, so once you have this, just open up your pause menu, go to Online, Jobs, Play Job, this time go on Bookmarked, then Missions, and start up It's a G Thing again. In this menu, do the same again, so set the clothing to player saved outfits, and then invite anyone and start this up. Now in this menu, just scroll 2 to the right on owned outfits, so over to orange 2, and then ready up. Now when you load into the mission, just do the same as before, so head over to one of your apartments, and then go to the wardrobe inside of your apartment. Now in your wardrobe, go ahead and save the outfit, but make sure it is out the way of the others, so just save it near the bottom, anywhere underneath the purple 1 and purple 2 outfits. From here, go ahead and delete the orange 1 and orange 2 outfits, and then quit the job using your phone.
Now you should be able to equip that same outfit you saved in the mission using your interaction menu so as you can see there it is fully saved. Now for the purple one just go to a clothing store, go onto the deadline outfits and then go for the purple deadline outfit. By the way if you don't want to you don't have to use these deadline outfits so if you want a different top with the body armour just equip the top you want the body armour on before loading into it's a G thing. So anyway once you have the deadline outfit equipped or the top you want the body armour on just load into it's a G thing again. And then in this menu of course set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. On owned outfit just scroll over to the purple 2 outfit so that should be 2 to the right and you'll notice the purple body armour is now on your outfit so ready up. Now when you load into the mission just go to one of your apartment wardrobes and then save the outfit to any slot and then you can quit the job using your phone. Now you can go ahead and equip that outfit using your interaction menu and you'll notice you have all the outfits fully safe now with the body armour and that's it done. So I hope you did enjoy or find this helpful. Of course if you did feel free to leave a like. Also if you have any questions just leave them down below and I'll try and answer them. Anyway thank you for watching, have a great day or night and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.